Good morning, friends, and welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. I'm so excited to bring this Jurassic World slash Jurassic Park set to you, made by Lego. It looks incredible. Now, I know it does say Jurassic World on the outside, but is it a legacy set? And it has all these great action figures from the very first movie of Jurassic Park. And I love it. I think it looks so amazing. So guys, before we get started, please subscribe to our channel. It's free. Follow us by clicking on the subscribe button below. Click on the little bell next to it so you can get notifications every time we have a new video that comes out. Comment to us where you're watching from in the world and what you like about this set, guys. So why don't we go ahead and get started right now. All right, guys, and welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Look how incredible this set looks from the Jurassic World new collection. It is, like I said, it is a Jurassic Park legacy set. So this is the only one, to my knowledge, in this whole series for these Lego sets that's the one from the original Jurassic Park movie. Man, since Lego has evolved so much over the years, this set looks so amazing. I wish it would have had a set like this when that movie first came out. I would have bought every single one of them. But nonetheless, I, I'm just, I can't even speak. I'm so excited to go over this one. So this is called Jurassic Park Velociraptor Chase. And it has so many different parts from the original movie. It has the kitchen back here. It has right here where it had the control room. It has uh, right here where it had the, the embryos stored away. And uh, the science lab. And it's just really awesome because you can turn it around. And I'll show you that in a moment. And look at these great minifigs. Well, we have the, the raptor. We have uh, Dr. Grant, Dr. Sattler. We have Lex and Tim. And it's just so outstanding. This movie was so great, in case I haven't said that a thousand times before. So it even has, look at this little sticker of Nidri right here. And he's going, ah, ah, ah. So, and let's look at the back. So amazing. Well, real quick, let's just take a look at it another picture it has right here on the side all right great and let's take a look at the back right here we have it's showing us if we turn the whole set around you have the kitchen scene uh, the raptor did not jump through the window like that he actually would have jumped through the window over here uh, coming this way we'll talk about that in a minute but um, still super cool that you can pop through right there right here where she was trying to hide in the little kitchen area and where they were running around over here. Uh, there was not the jello and the sausage and chocolate or whatever in the kitchen, but they were eating the, she was eating the green jello in the dining room before this. So that's kind of cool how they just threw it in there. Um, there Dr. Grant, this does not look like a shotgun. When he finally came to rescue them, he had like a shotgun like Muldoon had. And um, uh, they kind of, he found her, they ran to go save the kids, it's awesome. I'm sure you've seen the movie, if not, that's an awesome scene. And so right here we have where they have the, the, the lab. They never really went over here to do that at that scene, but it's just really cool how it has that so we can interact. And then kind of a random ladder. Now I know they did climb up the ladder to escape the raptors like a little bit later, and that happened, but it doesn't look like there's any attic to like, uh, or airways to, to go into, but still. I'm assuming that's why it has a ladder because they escape like that. So that looks cool. This looks really awesome because they're kind of reminding you of the scene where the jello was shaking because she was so nervous when she saw the raptor coming. We have Tim who's trying to hide over here. That was actually her also. Um, and it looks really cool. And there were actually two and three raptors running around during that time, not just one, but nonetheless. And then we have the control room right here. I don't believe this was right here. But this was when she was trying to um, lock the locks and get the park going again. So that was really cool. And then, of course, it says if you collect them all right here, we have uh, the, the figures can actually be, we can switch out some of their body parts. Look, it's really cool. We can do this and create our own hybrid if we get like this head and put it together here with that leg and so on. It's just really cool. So, guys, let's take a look at how great this set actually looks. Okay, so let me get a little bit closer down here so you can see. Now, as I mentioned before, this spins around. This is so cool. 
we have our control room right here. We have this locking mechanism we're going to talk about in just a minute. And we come this way. We have the lab. Now the lab was not on the side of the control room. But nonetheless, it's really cool how they attached it so we could have, you know, this area to play with since they did an all-in-one kind of set. And then over here we have the kitchen. So there's no door to the kitchen. This kind of pops out. We'll talk about that also in a minute. And we'll take a look at that. So um, we'll come back to that. And we have this whole kitchen area. But this is just incredible. I can't say that enough. So guys, um, let's set this aside for now. I want to show you the minifigs. First off, of course, we have Dr. Alan Grant. And look how awesome he looks. He looks incredible. We can switch out the hat or the hair because the hat does come off uh, a couple times. <laughs> so that looks awesome. This hat has tremendously uh, wonderful detail. Looks great. Let me just zoom in instead of bringing him closer. Look how outstanding he looks. His outfit looks just like the movie. Wow, looks great. The colors, everything looks amazing about this minifigure. We even, uh, the face even looks like him. So, I say outstanding job. Way to go, let go. Look at that. And as I mentioned before, he comes later. He didn't have it the whole time, but he brings like that shotgun. And when he had to shoot at the window, and that's definitely not a shotgun. But nonetheless, there we are. Let's just set him right here for now. All right, and let's look at Dr. Edley Sattler. She looks outstanding. Oh, and that's one thing I forgot to mention is that uh, Dr. Grant does not have two faces. So I guess it would look weird if he had a second face, but we had a hat on, then you could see the other face. So that's probably why that's the case because our other characters seem to have more than one face. This is the exact same outfit she wore in the movie. It looks amazing. We have two faces. See right here. Uh, she was so outstanding in the movie. And wow, look how great this looks. Same outfit. It's even tied right there. <laughs> and her shorts, her boots. Look at that. Oh, it didn't go all the way around. I'm surprised they didn't put the peach color this way <laughs> too. But uh, nonetheless, obviously we can get we get the idea. So this one looks outstanding. This looks just like her too. So great job on that. We'll set her right here. Next, let's look at Lex. And same outfit. Great job with that. Um, let's see, look at the hair. Lex Murphy and Tim Murphy. We have She's got the braid going. We do have here where she's worried. I guess that's a better picture for her. Right there. Where she's like, he left us. He left us. Boom. Look how amazing that looks. And they were still young. So, as it came out in the second movie too, Jurassic Park uh, Lost World, and uh, so they were much bigger by that time already. And then we have Tim Murphy, and he's definitely got the outfit he wore in there. I guess it doesn't make sense to have him smiling either. Let's turn that around. Let's have him worried. Not because we're just weird or crazy or anything, but because they're running from, you know, raptors. <laughs> for half the movie and T-Rex so this looks awesome looks so great and uh, definitely I love these minifigures for this set we'll just set them right here for now now let's look at our raptor let's zoom out a little bit this raptor looks outstanding now just like the one we reviewed before with blue from Jurassic World this is a softer tail it's not a hard Lego piece like listen So this bends, these do not. Now the raptor head has a full swiveling head uh, and it clicks open and close the mouth and that looks outstanding. The face looks so fierce and these don't even look like Legos. They look like, you know, full blown action figure set. Great teeth, great face, looks so spooky. And it's awesome, the arms go up and down. Now we did talk about on the last time we saw this where it's even got like a part to where it can like hold and grab stuff. Now why you would want a raptor holding a spoon, you wouldn't, but it's super cool that that can happen. Maybe it can be holding this little like snossage right here. <laughs> See, there we go. 
Boom. And then we can have him with his right there, his big razor claw. So that looks amazing. And then of course the legs go back and forth and he can like jump. So we can definitely do that and then run really fast. The claws and the arms go up and down. And so I love the way this looks. Now let's set him over here. Okay, and let's take a look at our play set. Actually, let me move these guys. So an un unobstructed view right here. So this is the control room. The control room looks amazing right here. They were concerned that the Raptors were going to get in because they needed to, they were going to power up the park. And this looks very similar to the door that Alan Grant was trying to hold closed. And uh, Dr. Sadler was trying to push against here. Why you would try to hold the door closed from this side, that's a, you know, that's another story for another time. But <laughs> so they were trying to get this to stay closed and get the lock going, which they finally did. Didn't look like this, but still, you get the point. And the Raptor was trying to, to break through. So this looks outstanding. Uh, here, this would have been off to the side, but once again, it's just a Lego playset, which it actually looks great. So Lex would have been here. Too bad she can't sit down because her legs don't bend. Otherwise, we could put her here in the seat where she was working on the computer. She's a computer hacker, right? And she was able to just get into the computer system and, and go through the... Um, all the uh, be able to turn the locks back on through the computer system. So that was great. I don't think Nidri's desk was over here. But nonetheless, I love the fact that we do have a sticker that's paying homage to that scene. Ah, 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 ah. This sticker looks amazing. Look at the size of it. It's like the size of my fingernail. <laughs> There's such great detail in these little stickers. And look at right here on this keyboard. Wow. And this big chunky mouse. Now I wish computers were flat screen and this small and this time, but they weren't. They were big and clunky. But definitely looks great in this set. And then right here we have a poster. This great looking Jurassic Park posters. Look, once again, it's like the size of my fingernail. And uh, this great poster right here where they're at. And I guess they couldn't write Jurassic Park that small. So they just have that. But man, this looks amazing. It's great detail. We have uh, definitely looks very reminiscent of where they would have been in that set right there. We have this emergency phone. We have lights right here. And then I guess for a good little detail where I have a tool, we have an umbrella and a walkie talkie, you know, fun. Different uh, accessories to play with. So all you gotta do is pull this out, unlocks, push it in, locks. Cool, right? And so this is where the Raptor was actually breaking in to get through the glass and Grant had to shoot it, which he was unsuccessful, but um, that's what you remember. So it, it would have made more sense for this window to break in instead of this one. But nonetheless, just to give you an idea. So this whole set, I'm so pleased with this part right here. Let's move this way to the kitchen. The kitchen looks outstanding. Uh, it's small, but you know what? It's fun. Let me turn this right here. We have some little, you know, tools and utensils right here that, that are really cool. Right here. Um, this never happened, but, <laughs> but it definitely gives it a nice little touch so that we can make up our own scenes, right? Because there's no dining room for them to eat in. This is where um, they went to go hide. And Lex would have been in here trying to close a door to come down instead of like that. Now, once again, these minifigs can't bend their legs, not the ones that are kids. So you just kind of got to toss her in there. But um, <laughs> uh, it works. It's functioning. And then it opens for the other side, too. Look at that. I guess we kind of just shoved her to the other side. <laughs> but um, it's super cool. We have cool little touches right here. Now, these were not like that. The top counters were just empty in the movie. But um, let's give her a spoon. We definitely have um, 
Let's see, the spoon was over there. But we'll have her holding like this where she was trying to eat her jello in the movie. And then it started quivering because she was shaking. So it's like, oh, oh my jello. Just kidding, she didn't say all that, but um we have all this jello stacked up right here, so that's pretty awesome. We'll have it right here. We have some random chocolate bar, it looks like, right here. It's got a, it's opened, but yet it has a, a bow. Whatever. Um, still a nice little touch to have on there. So let's rotate on over to our lab right here. It looks so awesome. This is cool. I like how in the movie they just kind of opened this up and they were in there. Didn't look exactly like this, but we know what this is and what it's supposed to be. So that looks outstanding. Uh, obviously, this makes it clear what it is. Embryo cold storage, restricted, and then Nidri came in here and he stole them, right? Now, I wish, I so wish that LEGO would have made more sets for this. Now, I don't know if they have in the past, but the way that they make LEGOs now, this is so amazing. And I would love for them to make a new set with Ian Malcolm and even John Hammond and perhaps um, Muldoon, like everyone. You know, whatever, even Gennaro and Mr. Arnold, like, all the main characters from the movie would be awesome. If they had, like, Nidri's scene where he was eaten by the Dilophosaurus, that would be awesome. So, let's take a look here. There's not a whole lot to show you other than the detail because there's not a lot of functioning parts. So, this is only spinning because I'm spinning. It's not really intended to. We have just a lot of decoration on this side. So, this is a fun area to just kind of make up your own scene or things going here or maybe even have some stop motion we have a camera right here this is where if we unlock this we can go through the door you know so it just looks really cool despite the fact that there's not a whole lot to be done over here they did a tour over here you know and I don't know if they necessarily got this close but at least we can we can be able to remember that and so yeah I absolutely love this set so I could not pass it up I definitely needed to have it and so yeah oh and I just about forgot we have this ladder right here let's take a look real quick because I almost finished the whole video without <laughs> so it has this little part right here so you can kind of have it fixed like that but you take this out it's really cool this ladder goes all the way up can stand up like this you know whatever and you can definitely make a cool scene right there when they're trying to climb up it to get up to um, the roof the ceiling I should say so definitely looks cool what do you think yeah all right move on guys what do you think let me know in the comments and I'm so excited to own this if you're wondering whether or not you should get this I highly recommend it it's incredible so everything about it is awesome and if you have not seen the Jurassic Park movie the very first one you need to see it it still holds up to this day it's amazing I was completely in love with it when it came out I had all these original action figures and all sorts of stuff and what a great movie so and with a new one coming out definitely I recommend it so guys thank you so much for watching our video here today I've had so much fun with you I hope you have too. Please, if you've not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to us by clicking the subscribe button below. That's how you follow us. Click on the, the little bell so you can get notifications every time we have a new video come out. And guys, let us know what you think. I wanna hear from you. So until next time guys, thank you for watching. Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G.